Hey what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back to my channel So today's episode we are going to take a look at um, Raid Law a gameplay in Akainu's era Well Raid Law to be honest is not a bad character to go against Akainu um, In a 1v1 he might have a slight disadvantage But nonetheless if you are able to stun him with your skill first Okay, and later use your skill 1. Okay, use your skill 2 first. And then use your skill 1 to kill him. You might have a good chance to kill him. But if he still can tank those hits, uh, it might be a bit troublesome for Law to fight against uh, Akainu. Especially those Akainu um, that have really high support, level 100, boost 2. And is also played by a, by a skilled player, okay, a good player. So uh, I'm building him with attack and HP. So HP build right with attacker fighting against Akainu might not be that favorable, but uh, I think against other opponent HP is quite good to have. HP build is quite good to have on him, especially because he recovers some HP. So I'm using the usual attacker medal set that I love, which is uh, two ring ring medals and one beast beast medal. Okay, so this medal set gives me really quick skill to cool down whenever I kill opponent. So, um, let me just show you the support that I use. So, for Trafalgar Law, right, for Red Law, I'm using Attacker, 7 Warlords, Paramecia, Captain and New World. So, the reason why I use 7 Warlords is because... Um, if you look uh, at his skill 1, he can inflict recovery block. So that is a status infliction. So with 7 Warlords, it extends the status infliction time. Also, Amputation inflicts stun. Okay, Again, status infliction, which can be prolonged by 7 Warlords tag. So I, I think since both skills have status infliction, it, it is just useful to have 7 Warlords tag in the support okay and my support isn't that bad as well with the uh, sorry support percentage isn't that bad as well with uh, the seven warlord stack so that's why i use it now enough talking let's get into the gameplay shall we all right so the first match that we are going to look at today is at barati night we've got one climate better nami in our team i don't know why we are going against three akainu so well, this is not going to be easy. <laughs> so it's a boost 3 climate battle Nami. Good luck. Okay, so uh, we've got uh, one Akainu here. Uh, level 100 boost 2. Okay. And look at that player number 8. Already smirking. You know, overwhelming with that um, confidence. Okay. He might think he can win. But mm, I'm not going to make it easy for you, bro. Alright, so that will then jump down. And use my skill too. However, I couldn't get the Akainu. So with Akainu, right, honestly speaking, I have to sneak attack him. Because once he gets his skill to up and running, oh my god, it is so annoying. Alright, so decided to help uh, Gap here fighting against the Oden. And uh, seeing how he doesn't have that much health left, I leave him be. So I use my skill one, however, I think somebody else already attacked him. Uh, which is quite a waste, okay, because I should be able to get him. So I really hate when that happens, you know, your allies interrupting the fight. But nonetheless, what to do? <laughs> I did the same thing with Gav as well. So I dodged a bit late there. However, I'm quite lucky I wasn't hit by that skill one. So right now, uh, you know, things are a bit tense up here. Uh, opponent have got team boost. So it's a, it's, a, it's a really bad decision if I still went up there and fight them. Uh, try to sneakily attack the Onigashima kid, however, I was killed by... No, no, I was hurt by Roger. So I only have one HP left. So you're gonna see the best troll ever. So see, one HP, perfect dodge that one. And straight away kill him with my normal attack. And look at that, that same player number 8 that used the uh, smirk stamp. And... <laughs> He respawned back as Akainu, okay? So, no problem, no problem. I'm not afraid with Akainu. And I respawn again as Law. Uh, because, I mean, obviously 1 HP, right? So, I cannot survive. And right now, uh, 1 minute left. I straight away go up to C flag to try and uh, guard the flag. So, it's the same player, number 8. So I tried to, I tried to uh, remove his auto dodge and right now he's out of it. 
So he dodges and boom, kill him straight away with my skill to easy peasy lemon squeezy. So another Akainu here, um, trying my best to bait his dodge. So seeing how he does nothing, I straight away continue attacking him with my normal attack. And again, I know somewhere here he's going to use his skill to perfect dodge that one. So try to remove his perfect dodge and uh, kill him straight away. Alright. Again, perfect dodging that Roger's skill too is the same player number 8, so he is still not happy with me. But no problem, I'm gonna finish you off quick, buddy. So nicely done. Um, 5 seconds left. Uh, we've got 3 flex uh, captured, so I am just I just have to defend this last flag and that's it, we're done. So GG, GG, where I really thought we might have lost the match because that player number 1 used... Um, uh, climate Better Nami. I hope it's the right name, okay? Because I don't know her real name. So I'm not the MVP. I've got four kills. However, um, in fact, in fact, that Draken guy, that player number one, did much better than me, okay? Because of Dorothy, definitely. But nonetheless, GG. All right. Next match is at um, Thriller Bark. So 193k total party power, and I'm going against 191k. So not that far. We've got two Akainus here at the start of the match. Uh, one of them is level 100 boost 2. So let's see how it goes. Um, so I straight away go up. Seeing how we have Kit down here as a defender. Uh, so he can fill up that flag alone. And I uh, saw that Akainu tried to bait his dodge. Got it actually but I think he's using uh, uh, dodge glitch. So perfect dodge Rogers Kamusari. Use skill 2 and thankfully I was downed by that Akainu skill 1. So because of that I'm safe from Roger's skill 2 and end up killing him easily. So B flag is unguarded and definitely going to capture it. So I saw this Akainu coming towards me. Tried to use my skill 1 however I missed. Got him with my skill 2 nicely done. And right now I just need to kill him. Perfect dodge that skill too and as usual once I have that chill running around me I straight away remove his auto dodge and again perfect dodge that Akainu skill one and uh, I should have uh, I should have been able to kill him off easily so with my skill one then he cannot run far I chase him and kill him with my skill one so GG GG Akainu um, we are able to capture B flag nice and opponent have got team boost so i'm quite surprised here that we are able to capture five flags uh, early on i'm pretty confident that you know we might be able to win this so have that meet and uh with uh that team boost i really hope i can kill this roger quick however i saw that Oden is capturing the flag and i straight away aim for him and uh try to remove him try to disturb him from capturing the flag Okay, so right now, um, we have roughly one minute left. So, we have more flags captured. So, so far, I don't see how things can go wrong. Kill that Roger with my skill too easily. So, I don't have much health left. Um, I really hope, hope that there's a mid somewhere nearby. Alright, and uh, since I don't have much health, I was playing a bit, you know, safe. Uh, tried to maintain my distance, wait for my skills to return. And uh, thankfully, this Roger here is up uh, to help me. And uh, straight away, tried to kill Big Mom and boom, got it. So I'm able to stun Usopp as well and hit him with my skill 1. So now that Usopp is inflicted with recovery block, so killing him shouldn't be that much of a problem. Alright, so 25 seconds left, you know. Um, again, I really wish there's a mid somewhere nearby, but sadly, I don't have it. And I tried to use my skill too. However, this Akainu is using, is abusing the dodge glitch. And all of us are dead at the last 10 seconds. And that Akainu is able to capture C flag. And as you can see, his allies are up there as well. Three of them, okay. Sorry, two of them are helping the Akainu. So there's no way we can win the match. So we literally lost at the last 10 seconds. It is truly disappointing. Like, I'm... To be honest, I'm really sad that I lost this match. I played really well. I'm hoping to win it. And I was the MVP as well if you win. Uh, but sadly, luck is not on my side. But GG, good 
fight against the Akainus. Alright, next match is at Fishman Island. So 194k total party power and we go against 187k but again that doesn't matter because the opponent have got Akainu in uh, their team. I don't think we have any if I recall correctly but I'm not too sure. Um, but nonetheless um, as usual at the start of the match uh, I'm, I'm, he I'm heading towards the flag you know capturing the, the second flag seeing how we don't uh, have any runner at the start of the match. Plus, even if I use God Uso, we are fighting against Oden here and well, Oden will definitely reach the uh, mid flag first. So I beat his dodge and when I saw it, I used my skin one and I tried to sneakily attack him. I, however, I was punched first by Onigashi Makit, which is well, a bit unfortunate. Uh, and uh, this Onigashi Makit steal my kill. You know, if only I can kill that Oden, I can easily regain back my skill too. So I'm pretty annoyed to be honest. I'm able to kill God Usopp there. So use my skill too, however, I missed. And uh, unfortunately, I was killed here by Onigashima Luffy and uh, opponent's kid who sneakily attacked me behind my back. So this is the disadvantage of having HP build. Um, when you are fighting against Red Luffy, Red Kid, which have skills that reduce your reduces your health according to percentage, right? According to your max HP, uh, set with, with a certain percentage, um, they do deal a lot of damage, and uh, yeah, you can easily get killed by them. Okay, so right now I'm fighting against this Akainu. So I'm trying to bait his dodge and right now since I have it, I straight away use my skill too because I know he couldn't dodge anymore and finish him off with my skill 1. So again, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if you are able to get Akainu with your skill too, right, and he is stunned, after that it's really easy to kill him. Um, other tips like I uh, showed you earlier, wait for him to use his skill to perfect dodge it, remove his auto dodge and that is where he is going to be at his most vulnerable so this Luffy is lagging badly and I'm lucky to be able to perfect dodge that uh, skill 2 I guess yeah skill 2 so I wasn't hurt that much and thankfully we've got team boost instead of fighting at the mid flag I decided to go over to B flag and uh, right now the Akainu is uh, you know quite defenseless so I kill him straight away with my skill one and uh, right now I uh, told my team to guard treasure because I'm pretty sure I'm able to get this one as well so 15 seconds left so we really need to defend the treasure and thankfully my skill two hits both of them perfect dodge that one use my skill one to kill Onigashi my kid and with that kill I gain back my skill two and stop Oden from capturing that flag so even with one second left right i'm pretty sure Oden is able to capture that flag if i don't stop him so gg i was quite lucky my timing is nice my uh, direction is nice i'm able to stop that Oden. so two flags captured five kills i'm the mvp so gg all right so um last match is at water seven stage well actually i don't know if i should put this match or not because the opponent that i'm fighting against uh, isn't that that strong uh, in the sense that uh, some of the some of the players use non-meta characters like they use Kawamatsu so you know um, and they are not much Akainu as well but well since uh, there is one Akainu here I still put this gameplay uh, into this episode and right now I'm heading towards uh, the opponent's second flag okay I saw Blackbeard there and uh, sneakily use my skill to, to attack him boom got it and seeing how Kawamatsu is behind there use my skill one to hit them both so I was quite lucky because I'm a bit uh, far from Blackbeard when he used his skill two. so right now my skill one is back saw that dodge and boom kill Blackbeard and of course Kawamatsu not a big problem sneakily attack him with my skill two, and I'm able to kill them both so right now D flag is mine however I see Akainu responding so I was like no 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 I'm not fighting Akainu without my skill so I retreat use the stairs and sneakily attack Akainu with my skill one one shotting him 
with that crit hit 27k gg gg so d flag is definitely mine okay so i know they are eager to kill me so i saw that dodge i dodge use my skill too and able to got them both so capture the flag okay and use my skill one straight away uh so i, I was about to use it however I, I failed okay because i was down first so I was looking at the opponent's team boost, seeing how they almost caught it. I decided to retreat, uh, and and also to eat that meat, of course. Okay, so I'm chilling, I'm chilling, waiting for the right time. Use my skill once, sneakily attack both of them, and uh, I was trying to bait the dodge, to be honest. And right now, with that team boost, I won't hesitate. Use my skill to uh, finish that Onigashima kit off. So right now, Blackbeard. So I got my skill one back and boom, again finish him off easily, one shotting him thanks to that team boost. So I tried to dodge that uh, Dressosa Zoro hit and I saw his dodge, used my skill too. Well, it's a bit weird here. I don't know why Zoro is not stunned. I know whenever he is in his uh, Haki mood, right, uh, he cannot be stunned. However, that skill hits him before he uses that skill. So I think this Zoro is lagging. So look here. So. So he's supposed to be down, right? But he's not, okay? He doesn't appear to be down and because of that, um, I, I left my guard down and I was killed by the Zoro. So really not fair. So um, roughly 20 seconds left. Well, I know uh, it is not fair for me to wait for Onigashima Law. Plus, I cannot reach the mid flag in time as well. So decided to use God Uso and, and thankfully my ally is able to capture the other flag at the back. And well, five seconds left. I'm just trying my best to, you know, be involved in the fight here. And boom, we won the match with three flags captured. So 6.6k score. Uh, well, using pretty much law, okay. Not got Uso. And I hope you guys enjoy today's gameplay. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.